Hey there, data enthusiasts. With 2025 upon us, are you struggling to figure out which certifications will actually help you land that dream job? Don't worry, you're not alone. I've been there too, and today I'll simplify the chaos for you. Let's focus on the certifications that truly matter so you don't waste your time and money. Why, trust me, I've been working as a data engineer for more than four years and have earned several of these certifications myself. They've not only boosted my career, but also helped me understand what employers truly value. If you're new here, you absolutely need to check out my video, Data Engineer Roadmap 2025 first. Think of it as a prerequisite to this one. Watch that and come back here to pick up the right certifications for your goals. In this video, I'll explain why these certifications matter, which ones are essential for your career, and where to learn for them. Plus, I'll tell you which certifications are optional and how to prioritize based on your specialization. Stick around until the end for some insider tips to save money and ace the certifications efficiently. And while you're here, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. I post videos two to three times a week to guide you through every step of your data engineering journey. But let's get something straight. You don't really need every certification under the sun and what I show in this video. Certifications are tools, not trophies. For most data engineers, I recommend focusing on just three essential certifications. One for either AWS or Azure, which I'll highlight, then either Databricks or Snowflake for data engineering specializations, and any one or two of the optional certifications that I show based on your interests. Things like Airflow, Kafka, etc. Now let's look at the top certifications for 2025. At one, the most important, I think, is either AWS or Azure certifications. Why AWS? AWS is the largest cloud provider globally, making its certifications essential for working in cloud environments. I would recommend the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner. This is a beginner-friendly certification, and I would mark this as optional. It covers the basic AWS cloud concepts, services, and support, and it costs $100. For resources, I would highly recommend Stefan Marik's Udemy courses. They're really good. Why learning these concepts is very important for the following exams, giving the actual certification may not be that important. The next certification is the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. This is something I highly recommend. It covers designing scalable systems, secure cloud architecture, and cost-efficient solutions on AWS. It costs $150, and I would highly recommend Stefan Marik's course again for this as well. Also, AWS has builder labs, which at very minimal cost will give you hands-on experience to AWS, and I would recommend that you check them out as well. The next certification is the AWS Certified Data Engineer Associate Exam. This is again something I highly recommend. It covers managing data pipelines, ETL workflows, and analytics on AWS. This again costs $150, and same as the above, I would recommend Stefan Marik all the way for AWS. Pro tip, AWS offers a 50% discount coupon on your next exam after completing any certification. Use this strategically to save money. Microsoft Azure certifications are critical if you're targeting companies that are built on Microsoft ecosystem. I would recommend the Azure DP900, that is the Azure Data Fundamentals exam. This is beginner friendly and actually giving the exam is optional, but I would highly recommend going through courses to understand its content. It covers core data concepts and Azure services for data management. It costs $99 and I would highly recommend Ishan Gar and Scott Duffy's courses. Next exam is a Microsoft Azure DP203, that is Data Engineer Associate. This exam covers data integration, transformation, and analytics on Azure. It costs $165. And again, for this, I would recommend Ishan Garg or Scott Duffy's Udemy courses. Coursera also has prep courses upon completion to which you get a 50% discount coupon. So something you can definitely check out as well. Next, I would highly recommend Databricks certifications. Why Databricks? Databricks is the leader in data lake house architecture, a must have skill for modern data engineers. I would highly recommend that you do the lake house fundamentals exam. It's optional and it's free. It covers the basics of data lake house in a couple of hours. I'd also highly recommend the Databricks Certified Data Engineer Associate exam. It covers ETL pipelines, data workflows, and optimization on Databricks. It costs $200, and I would highly recommend Ankit Mystery's Udemy course for this. Now let's talk about the alternative to Databricks, that is Snowflake. I would highly recommend the Snow Pro Core Certification. 
It covers the Snowflake architecture, query optimization, and data sharing. It costs one seventy-five dollars, and Snowflake's official training materials are good resource. You can also check out the SnowPro Advanced Data Engineer exam. This is optional, and it covers advanced ETL workflows and Snowflake performance tuning. This costs three seventy-five dollars. Now let's talk about the optional certificates. The following topics are very important for data engineers, but actually giving certification may not be very valuable. But based on your particular career goals or current projects, you might want to go through these as well. The very first is the Apache Airflow fundamentals. This covers core Apache Airflow concepts, including DAG authoring and scheduling. This costs one fifty dollars, and I would highly recommend Mark Lamberti's Udemy course for those who are interested in Kafka. Confluent certified developer for Kafka covers the Kafka architecture, APIs, and real-time data processing. The second costs one fifty dollars. The DBT Analytics Engineering certification covers building and maintaining workflows using DBT. This costs two hundred dollars. HashiCorp certified Terraform associate is important for those who want to understand infrastructure automation using Terraform. This costs seventy dollars. CDMP's data management fundamentals covers the principles of data architecture, governance, and quality. This exam costs three hundred and eleven dollars. Let's look at summary table to look at all certifications at a high level. You can see that you can either do AWS or Azure certificates. You can do DataBricks or Snowflake certificates. And after that, choose one or two of the optional certificates that interest you the most. Let's connect on LinkedIn. I share tips, resources, and updates about data engineering to help you stay ahead in your career. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my video, Data Engineering Roadmap 2025, to understand how the certifications fit into your career. See you next time. Thank you.